ridiculously analyzable. I mean, Eliad had walked through the whole history of religious ideas, and he had the intellect that enabled him to do that, and everything he wrote is dream dreamlike in its density. So every sentence or paragraph is evocative in an image-rich manner, and that also say deepens and broadens the scope and that's part of often what distinguishes writing that has a literary end from writing that's more merely technical like the literary writings have this imagistic and dreamlike reference space around them and it takes a, a it takes a long time to turn a complex image into something semantic and so if your writing evokes deep imagery it has a depth that can't be captured merely in words. And the great romantic poetic philosophers, Nietzsche is a very good example, Dostoevsky is a good example, so is Virgil Eliade. They have that quality. And it's a good way of thinking about it, you know.